Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your mm. boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with this week's Love and Marriage, Huntsville, Season 3, Episode hey. 9, Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, my. Listen, this, this is really the episode that we were waiting for. Yeah. Last week's was kind of like an introduction to what was going to be going on in Vegas, but we knew that this week they was going to come with the BS. Yeah. They didn't disappoint with right. the BS. <laughs> so starting off from where we were last week where they were in the um, pool, really just starting to get the drama popping, talking about Jalen and Kimmy and Marceau and Tisha, and pretty much just discussing Jalen's work environment and what yeah. is going right and what's not going right. So this week we kind of get to the tail end of it where um, Kimmy was over it. Yeah. Clearly, everybody is over it. And Tisha had to take a step back. And she was like, you know what, um, Kimmy? I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize for even questioning anything because I do know you. I know your character. I know what you would and you wouldn't do and what you would and wouldn't say. So I am going to apologize because we are trying to move forward. So we can't keep doing this and trying to move forward at the same right. time. So they had a moment where they like hugged and cried it out. And then mm. in the confessionals, um, Kimmy was like, Tisha always said she wanted to have mm. a sister. Yeah. And God D, we she got to be sister. related. Because that's what we act just like sisters. Because we act just like blood sisters at yeah. this point. So it's, it's written in the stars. We sisters for life. <laughs> I mean. Because I'm like, should, should Jalen even still be working? <laughs> at black cut ties go yeah go go somewhere else and work but so now we're coming off the tail end of that so now we we, we starting to get some things popping it's the um next morning is it the next morning is it yeah it's the, the next, next morning. morning yeah so they they ready to eat marshall was bringing up or no it was um maurice that was bringing up saying you know we need to take some shots or something like that I said, for the stuff that y'all going through right now, y'all need weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all need, y'all need some, <laughs> lots of it. <laughs> y'all need some herbals and whatnot. Marceau don't remember much from last night. They said, "Were you that lit?" He was like, "No, I, I was, was just tired. tired." Nah, bro. Nah, you was you was lit. Even when you tired, you, you remember see, what you remember happened? happened last night. Yeah. <laughs> when you lit, that's when you don't remember. Yep. So uh, miss me with that one, Marceau. So. We have Kimmy in the kitchen, and you know, y'all know every time it comes down to these group functions, they're gonna find a way to have Kimmy cook some food. <clears throat> so they're sitting there, they, you know, they all just vibing out. Like I'm really liking the energy that they on right now. Um, Kimmy's having a conversation with Martell in the kitchen, and I, I know it was it was perfectly placed, but at the same time, I'm like, we 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 don't want to hear about him and Mel anymore like they have signed the on the divorce, dotted line yep. it is over let's not yep. talk about it that but chapter I, is over yeah but martel he handled it well like he didn't get upset he was like you know i don't know what the future's gonna hold for us but at this moment we're just trying to figure out how to co-parent but in his confessional he was like i'm really kind of tired of hearing about it and being confronted with it every time i'm turning around and i'm like at some point you may have to just be like yo leave it the everlasting buck alone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to move on with my life. I bucked up. I, I admit it. Let's make it do what it do at this point. Right. But at the same time, him and Mel was the one that put this skit out on Front Street. Yeah. So that's kind of like the turf that that's what come with the turf when you do that. And it's green. Yeah. It's real green right now. <laughs> so they're sitting down eating and whatnot. So um, I think it was Kimmy. Maybe it was Maurice, one of them, asked the question, say, um, um, is Mel still, or what time is Mel coming or something like that? So Martel speaks up and said, well, I talked to her this morning and she said, she's not coming. coming. Yeah. So they were like, wait, what? She's not coming. And so they were like, well, maybe she just said that to pull your chain or whatever. Yeah. So Tisha in the confessional was like, she would have said something like. That she wasn't that coming. That she yeah, wasn't, wasn't coming, coming. So we're not. So then we have Miss Busybody that gets the skit started. Who needs Wanda when you have Tiffany at the table? <laughs> so we have Tiffany down there because now they started to joke and play with Martell and told Martell, well, have you heard from Destiny? Since you, you know, you heard from, um, <laughs> yeah. from um, Mel, have you heard from Destiny? He said, oh, every day. Oh, every day. <laughs> every day. And um, Tiffany, oh, we're talking about your baby mama? Martell said, no. 
talk yeah. to my best. Oh, but I no, do no, talk to said, her every day. He said, but I do talk, talk to, to her every, every day. I mean, yeah. And she's like, no, I'm talking about male. I'm talking about male. Like, and everybody was like, my sister, that's my ex-wife, not my baby mama. So then she in the confessional talking about something. Well, I think Melody does qualify as a baby mama at this point. Well, that means you do too because yeah. you have a child from a previous marriage as well. So if she qualifies as a baby mama, so yeah. do you. Right. So don't let's not do this, but I perfectly placed drama. And I was like, mm mm, we not gonna do this at all. And everybody looked at the table like, we should jump her. I said, Y'all should. But I actually thought that was gonna set him off at that point when she said that. But he kept cool. I can say he kept cool. I I, I was like, I Martel thought I, is not bothering me. Yeah, I was like, he was he cool now. I was like, cause I yeah, I thought he was definitely was gonna go off the off the rail. But like, you know, who is you come in this fold and, and bring that up? Yeah. And first of all, you just, you two knew. Listen. Just sit back, listen. So you already had your your, your bout with, with Destiny. And you better be glad that she ain't get you like she wanted I to get you. I want her to get you. Especially yeah. at the end of this episode. Right. I want her to get you. So eventually, Mel does show up. Without Destiny. I was like, I thought it was their plan to come together. But any hoodle. So she mm -hmm. shows up. And now it's, it's her turn to get picked on. They're playing with her, telling her there's no more rooms left. You're going to have to figure out somewhere else to sleep. Oh, but there's Martel's room to uh -huh, sleep in. Yeah. So here come Marceau. Y'all can sleep in the same bed and just have that invisible <laughs> line, line down the middle where y'all can't touch it no. or not. So <laughs> eventually she realized what they were doing. They were just picking with her. And they yeah. were like, you know, your room is probably down there on that corner right there. There's rooms left. Don't even worry about it or not. <laughs> but now it's time for them to get the shots popping. Shooters. Shooters, yeah. She had the nerve to put ice in hers. I said, <laughs> Mel, for real? But they're getting ready to go on their first activity and whatnot. So they told her to change the shoes. We about to go. I said, well, we about to go. So they get outside and they have two sprinters. They realize that, okay, let's divide this up fairly. Women in one, men, men in, in the other. other. So now we're heading to our destination and we have the women having a conversation with Mel. And she's really talking about where her life is right now how she doesn't consider Martel a friend right now because there's just too much going on with him right now. So they, they've been in therapy to try to figure out how to co-parent. Bam. Over here with the men, they're over here talking about divorce. Yeah. And when Marcella. what is the fo divorceable offenses and yeah. things that should make you stay and fight or give you know, up and go ahead. And, and so I'm Marcella sitting here was like, like, I would never do that. and Which I got his point. I got it, but I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I got his point because it's like you put in all that time and effort with somebody and you just throw it out the window. Now, I understand infidelity mm. is is one of those things that is my, I don't, I don't know about it. I don't it know if I can bounce back from But that. it's like, can you, can you bounce can't. back from Some from people that? can. I yeah. don't think I could. <laughs> yeah. So I got what he's saying is like, if you can save your marriage, do it versus taking and starting all over with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So, we finally get to where we're going, and we have the longest presentation of instructions and how not to break penalties uh, and get all of this so you can get, get $5 in the lyric. It's like, what? I was like, so we, we had the slingshots, right? Destiny pulls up right on time, you know, when production dropped off over there. They don't mess around and don't left her bags. <laughs> so, she's a little, she was a little dishuffled. And then Martel brings up the thing of saying, is there a slingshot that's a four-seater? Because Mel don't drive that good. <laughs> and so she can ride with me and Destiny. And I'm like, oh, we're really getting it on and popping with the jokes right now. But it's still <laughs> funny right now. Like, it's yeah. like, he, he, ha, yeah. ha. And Mel was like, what are you trying to say, Martel? I'm a good driver. Because matter of fact, said she just recently hit something. <laughs> he said, my kids said you hit it's something. Yeah. And, so, and Destiny was like, you know what? You my girl. You my, but Martel is right on this one. <laughs> but you my girl, so I'm going to ride with you. So they all pull off, and they having a blast. Like, they, man, they got me wanting to run, run a slingshot, man. Yeah. How about them things set you back from? Right. <laughs> up in um, Vegas. They were riding for a long time. Yeah. Because we don't roll... Until the sun don't set, and we out there, um, in the mountains, late at night. So they're just vibing, talking, taking selfies. You know, just having a good time. Kind of, you know, setting the precedence for what's gonna happen tomorrow. 
And this is when all, all hell, hell broke loose. <laughs> I don't even know like where it even started. Oh, I know where it started. Was when Mel told Martell that if she was down at the studio doing it, well, doing the, the video shoot, oh, he was like, oh, that, oh, that BS. That's what it all started. It started where she asked him who had the kids because that's, the oh, whole yeah, that's thing, what, yeah, yeah, the whole thing was, I didn't know Martell was gonna be here. I was like, wait, wait, what? But he said that he talked to, to you. you. Yeah. I'm not saying that what he's saying is true because he also said that you said you won't come. But he said he talked to you. And, and you said you won't come. And you said you won't come. Now you but didn't know, now he, you was, didn't know that he was going to be here. And now it's awkward. And why would he be here? But it kind of makes sense for him to be here because this is That's our friend friends. group. And then Tisha is like, I didn't exactly tell Mel that he was coming, but we're all in the same thread. So you see who's invited and who's talking. So it's not a secret that he was going to be here. Yeah. So how did this get on and popping? So long story short, he told us that, you know, my mama took off work and she got the kid. At first I said, do she got the kid? Because he said she got the kid. He said, she said Mel said, well, she worked tomorrow. And he was like, like uh, she took well, off. well, she took off. And I'm like, you sure? <laughs> like, Because he was looking, uh, yeah, he definitely was looking unsure about it, though. No. I said, are you sure that <laughs> she took off work? Oh, she got to drop them off with Brittany. So then, hmm. speaking of Brittany, um, Mel said, you know what? And this is when it really started popping. Yep, that's when, yep. I had a conversation with Brittany, and I apologized to her for the BS that you said about her being unfit and unqualified to babysit our children. Martel said, that is not what I said. That is not what I said. And she was like, that is what you said. He said, well, tell me what I said. Tell me what it <laughs> They went back and forth and back and forth, back and forth. And But she had brought it up that she had talked to Brittany on the set, set of her video really, shoot. He said, oh, that oh, BS? Oh, oh, that BS, yeah. Oh, that, that, that stuff right there? And that's when it really started getting heated. <laughs> and then he started calling and referencing her. Oh, because you think you Beyonce now? Beyonce, <laughs> Beyonce. And she was like, I don't sit around here and call you Tay Diggs, <laughs> Moore Chestnut, Chestnut. <laughs> and all that. I don't do any <laughs> And they are just really, like, going at it. So then Martell is like, you sitting around there acting like you haven't written this song over mm -hmm. two years ago when we are bucking and sucking and having fun at our house. You wrote that song two years ago. My kids is around there singing, singing the song. song. So yeah. why are you lying and telling everybody that you, this was a collaborative effort of a whole bunch of writers? I've been knowing that song. My children been knowing this song. I was like, oh. And he said, and you playing on the voice. I said, I'm not going to falter for that. That When you walk away from something as big as what y'all had going on, you got to play in it. Yeah. You really do. Yeah, you, you got to play in your moves very carefully so that you can come out on the top of it. You were the one that was sucking and bucking in the dark and yeah. not realizing that she was playing. Yeah. And she done <laughs> caught you out there without a business license, uh, yep. a builder's license. <laughs> done left you out there to dry. And now you got to be on for other people until you get your skit together. She was playing chess. Now, I can say Martel had a good point. About her having the kids around the house singing, singing that, that song. Because it's inappropriate about, about, for kids. Yeah, about her, about, you know, about their daddy. It's and about she was, anybody's yeah, daddy. It's an inappropriate song. And then she was like, they don't know that it's about you. Like, they don't know it now. But just think about when they grow up and be like, wait a minute, mom. Did you have us around here singing this song about our daddy? And, did, and we didn't even know it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so they really, like, just got into it like oh. it got heated to a point where one time i thought that martel was like going towards her like he uh, yeah, wanted, he to, wanted to give her something. a two-piece yeah that's what and I, I said thought. so I, I i don't like to put abuse on people but in that moment right there i was like move mel out the way and the rest of the friends was like move out the way so then mel decides that she's going to egg him on yeah this play is the video where, yeah this is where i was like okay mel you're doing way too freaking much and usually I can I can side with Mel when it comes to Martell, but this time she egged him to freak on. She was like, "Oh, since you want to talk about my BS video, let me you let go, me play, it. play let it. Me play it. Let me play it for everybody." And even the latest was like, "Mel, this nah, is this, not the time. Yeah, this, don't yeah. do that. You egging don't him do on. That. Yeah, you egging and him on." And she was like, "No, no, y'all don't know what he said to me over there." 
but you are amping it up. And then you making it bad for everybody else on this trip. Yeah. This ain't even about y'all. Yeah, this ain't in y'all trip. This is Marceau and Tisha's um, anniversary trip that they decided to invite y'all on. And they all out here and acting a fool. And, and Tiffany over there just soaking it all in because she's she going to bring that skit up that's, later. That, that's why we said over there on Life With Us TV, you have to choose your travel partners carefully because everybody can't travel mm -hmm. with you, man. So I was laughing because Maurice was like, all that talk. That we talked about in that sprinter on the way here. Oh, that's going out the window. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're failing the test, my guy. You're we, failing well, the test. Well, we already but know I'm that Martel like, was going to fail the test. He, he, you know, yeah. He won't fail. I probably would have failed that test, too. <clears throat> like, I probably would have failed the test, too. And But, however, at the same time, as bad as all this skit is out here in Vegas, back in Huntsville, Martel was the one that started oh, all wow. of this. <laughs> so... I, I can feel him being upset, but dog, you like my mom used to say, you yeah. laying in the bed that you made hard for yourself, bro. So yeah, yeah. So Mel, Mel, I, uh, Destiny, I'm not gonna be mad if you drop Mel off as a friend, <laughs> cause Mel got hot and jumped in that slingshot. Remember, she brought Destiny. She guess. jumped in the slingshot and took off solo dolo. I guess she got to catch Martel back. So she, Martel <laughs> said he wanted to ride with one of them Destiny to ride with him anyway. Well, there you go. So there you have it. So back it up a little bit. We have Tisha. Because Tisha is telling them that tomorrow, what we're going to have going on, we're going to have the men and the women separate for a little bit. But there's some thirsty women out here in Vegas that like to push up on the men folks. So go. she decides she wants to pull Maurice over to the side and tell him, listen, <clears throat> I'm going to make it your responsibility to keep an eye on my husband and what these women folk going to be trying to do when y'all out here by yourself. Because we got Martel here <laughs> and, and my so I'm going to need you. I, and, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like really confused. Here, here, this is what I'm going to say right I'm here. like, did... Marceau, bruh, did you do did you did you do something, man? Cause I'm like, y'all out in Vegas, on vacation, and she policing your moves. She, yeah, and she's pulling your brother, your brother, not just anybody, your brother to the side to keep, so you keep an eye on you. Hmm. But here's here is where I was laughing at that entire scene. Every event that we have seen. With the love in Huntsville men, when they out there by themselves, Marceau ain't the problem. It's Marcus, Marcus. and Maurice. <laughs> it's Marcus and Maurice. Did you see Miami? Yeah, that's right. Marceau was babysitting them. Yep, yep. Now, granted, it was Maurice's bachelor party. Yeah. But Marceau Mar was cool. Maurice was getting it. In. When he got down on that ground, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, well, Mark is on it. I said, yeah. That's when that look a hit. I said, so then Maurice says, does this have anything to do with the with the, with the secret counseling meeting? <laughs> and she was like, kind of, you know, she was like, we know, I just feel like we don't communicate as well. Like, I want to verbalize some things and <clears throat> he, you know how he is. You grew yeah. up in the house with him. You know how he is. Um, so Maurice was like, you know, I'm going to advocate to be what they need to be in their marriage. So if I see any signs of anything that may make this thing go left, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check it yeah. right at the gate because marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Yeah. And he's been married both. and divorced. So, both. And now he's in a new um, marriage. He knows how hard that is. So he was like, yeah, but he even said in the van, he was like, you know, we were in our marriage, my first marriage, and we were in it longer than we, we should have. Been. We should have been. Both of go. us admitted that, and I was like, "Wow, mm -hmm. that's that's really big for both people to admit that." Wow, we really did stay in this too long. I don't know. So, um, was it popping the way I wanted it to pop this week? No, but it, it seemed like it's going to continue again next week. Yeah. So we got three episodes. We in Vegas. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I know this is a show that has perfectly placed drama segments we know that 
I was having a good time with them by themselves before Mel got there. Yeah, Mel, yeah, she like, yeah, when she got like, there. Like, when she got there, the energy just changed yeah. with the group. It really, really did. Like, I really, if if Mel was not there, I think that we would have had a really good, good. solid few episodes of the Friends just having it good, good time. freaking time. Yep. I'm here for it. I am but you know so they gotta bring the drama though. They gotta yeah. bring the drama. But do they have to though? Nah, because none of to. us signed up for this show for drama. We yeah. signed up for black people doing business black and doing great people, things yeah. uh -huh. in, in their the neighborhood. Community, community, yeah. We ain't seen a cinder block. Yeah. So when we found out we found out there was cheating and baby mamas and babies coming. We was like, that's why we laid the show down. And then y'all begged us like y'all <laughs> were in. If I could show my inbox. Y'all people there. were like, listen, if you don't ever do nothing else for me, I was like, please do this show put this show back. <laughs> I was like, what? I said, well, let me get caught up and come on back and bless the folk. But I wonder if this is gonna be the last season though. I wouldn't be mad. Because I don't see where else where, where else, where else could, could we where, go? Where else could it go? You unless know, they bring Ari on on. To get they, some, they ain't doing that. Not unless not with nah. Mel's name on the nah, dollar. Mel line. ain't fitting to put no paper in that girl's pocket. I can tell you that right now. I tell you. I don't know, y'all, but <sighs> good episode, y'all. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you like what you heard so far, make sure, yeah. you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the videos a, a thumbs up. You can thumbs it down, too. Interaction is interaction. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Sua. Sua. Holla. Boom.